Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Belmont Boy. We are here playing Rise of the Tomb Raider, and we are about to embark on another challenge tomb called the Red Mine, Red Shaft, something like that. I hope it's the Red Shaft. That's a little bit funnier to me. Oh, okay. So there's cloth over there that we're going to have to burn somehow, and that water is going to stop us. We know that. Let's keep that in mind. There's a bottle over here. Let's get that. We're probably going to need it. Um, lots of bottles. All right. So let's see. What a crazy. Whoops. That was kind of odd. Well, hopefully we didn't need that. Looks like. What is that? Sulfur? I hope not. It must smell awful. All right. Got a locker here. Probably gonna have to. There. What is? Got to find a way inside. Oh, the um. Thing. <laughs> Those weird uh like documents that seem to be like the penultimate goal of every challenge tomb. When the uranium ore was nearly gone, I feared our operation was at an end. Oh, it's a uranium. But oh, she said that already. Close the shaft. Fate intervened. We found a chamber, half destroyed by a cave-in, but clearly made by the hands of man. The artifacts inside are ancient, nearly a thousand years old, untouched since the tomb was sealed. Hmm. We re Interesting. So they were using the natives to hollow out the mine or to work in the mine. Um, and clearly the natives got kind of upset when they stumbled upon the artifacts. Also, why did that guy have such an American accent? Have the other ones had Russian accents? I don't know. I can't even remember anymore, to be honest. Whoop. I mean, it is more expensive and a little bit more difficult to get voice actors who can do accents. Voice acting is expensive, man. All right, so we're going to shoot a rope across to somewhere. Wow, look at this place. Anything cool under here? Of course there is. Of course there is. You know why? Because this game rewards exploration, which is a pretty crucial component of a Tomb Raider game, I think. And just one more reason why this game is fucking awesome. Oh, we got a, a Byzantine coin out of that. Sweet. How many have we been getting from the stashes, I wonder? Next time we find one, I'm going to pay attention to that. See if I can check how many we have now. 33? That's not that many. Although it is enough for a couple of the upgrades, if I remember correctly. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull that out. Alright, what am I aiming at here? Those mine carts. Perhaps they could block the water. Um, oh. Those mine carts. No, I heard you the first time, Lara. I'm just trying to figure out how to go about doing that. Uh, so I gotta pull them towards me. That much is clear. <laughs> it's just gonna say that every single time. Those mine carts. Perhaps they could block the water. Perhaps they could, Lara. Uh, maybe something I have to set on. F oh, you know what? That's probably what it is. I bet you. Oh, Jesus. I bet you that's... Oh, hey, what's that? That stuff is flammable. We haven't explored down here either, so let's do that first. A trigger mechanism for a bomb. It's nice. the same handiwork. He must have been gathering the supplies for a long... Oh, I'm supposed to run and grab it. There we go. All right, well, solution was a little bit simpler than we thought it was, or I thought it was. Maybe you guys had it from the beginning. Oh, fuck. Good. Hmm. Let us see what we can see. So if I run and jump on this again, what's it gonna do? Nothing now. Is that one minecart's already gone? It must be a way to free another cart. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Ha! Okay, but if I do that again, then just the same thing's gonna happen, right? Well, now it's even worse, because now it just fucking doesn't even go over there. Alright, well, definitely not the solution there either. Alright, so here's our cart. I 
and then now we can probably do it. Oh, you know what it's gonna do, I think? It's gonna swing down. That's probably the solution. Here we are, right? Yep. What? Haha. -ha. How are you guys doing today? Having a good day? I hope so. I would love for you all to have a good day. I want everyone to have nothing but good days. Fortunately, that's not the nature of the beast a lot of the time. But, you know, I guess you gotta, sometimes you gotta experience the lows in order to cherish the highs, as they say. Hopefully today is one of the highs, but if not, it'll get better. Whatever's troubling you, I'm sure that it, like all things, will pass. And you know, if you're having a shitty day, hopefully this is enough to take your mind off it. And hopefully I didn't remind you of your shitty day uh, by telling you about it right here and now. Okay, so can I make that jump? I think so. Is that really all it was? Is that the whole puzzle? I'm a little bit embarrassed that it took us as long as it did to figure it out. Um, what else we got? The workers had finally had enough. Why? That person murdered in their sleep or something? That's probably what that was. Wow. Whoa, look at that statue. She's right, I bet a lot of this stuff is worth a fortune. Some fucking Byzantine coins. Alright, what am I gonna get? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I mean that's pretty cool, I guess. Looks like they dragged it out of here. What did they drag out? That's kind of important to know. Nice, got some mushrooms. So much damage between that amateur excavation and the cave in. But it must be connected to the prophet. This shaft must have been where they first broke through. Should lead out as well. You better hope so. Definitely not going out the way we came in. Up we go. Okay, I understand. So that means that that other wood piece that we found over back in the uh, Soviet installation just must be pullable from the other side. Is this how I get back? It must be. And my stepbrother is an incredible climber. Um, it's pretty awesome, actually. All right, so I'm not supposed to go that way. Uh, I wish I was a better climber. Um, I don't have the build for it. I'm a little bit too stocky. I'm sure that if I started climbing, you know, I would kind of get better and you know, your body kind of conforms to what you put it through. Um, you know what? I almost kind of want to go down and just go to the bonfire. Ah, eh, fuck it. We're close. Hopefully you enjoyed that challenge tomb as much as I did. Like I said, I'm a little bit embarrassed at how long it took me to find the solution, but it's okay. You know? Perseverance is what matters, right? That's what I tell myself. That and a little bit of self-deprecation will get you far. <sighs> so what were we doing? We're gonna meet Jacob. That's our plan the top of that installation. Although, we might end up, oh gosh, nice. We might end up, I don't think we can do that other challenge tomb yet. I think that's, we actually did stumble upon it um, and we might need explosives to do it. But if that's not the case and that's just an area that leads somewhere else unrelated to the challenge tomb, I'm definitely going after that next challenge tomb next. Oh, you gotta be fucking, ugh. All right, come on. I mean, I like sandwiches for, it's like one of the same reasons I like burgers, is they're just, they're so easy to eat, aren't they? You can just hold it in your hand. It's a food and an activity. Fuck forks. Fuck forks and knives. That's boring. Give me some food that I can pick up with my hands. Another reason why I like wings, too. Wings are like, oh my god, easily one of my favorite foods. Give me like some dank beer, some nice craft beer, some wings. I am very happy. Let's go. Flammable barrier, huh? Hmm? Um. 
Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Man, she's gonna be ripped just from those alone. It's not as e bleh, not easy to pull open rusted metal. Uh, okay. Well, oh, is there a um, bottle? Was there a bottle over here? Maybe. Oh Jesus. Oh, well, there's a bottle. You know, we're gonna do that next time on Belmont Boy. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.